This video will serve as an introduction to StorageCraft's file backup and recovery uh, backup analyzer feature. Uh, this feature is a really powerful feature um, that allows a service provider who's running this solution on their client's computers to really get a window inside of that client's computer. And the beauty of this, this feature is that you don't have to remote into the computer. You don't have to schedule time with the end user to access their machine. You can do all of this from uh, the partner portal. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the way that you analyze or you see the backup analyzer is you go into the account overview page. Uh, from the account overview page you're going to drill into a specific computer and then here on the right hand side you're going to see a button that says run the backup analyzer. Now what this is doing right now is how the solution works is when a backup scan runs it generates what we call an audit report. And You can see up here this is the last audit report um, that we have so you can see this was from yesterday. Um, today is the 28th and this ran on the 27th. And what an audit is, is it is a catalog um, that again runs as part of the backup scan and it looks at every single file that is on the client's computer that's running the StorageCraft uh, file level backup and recovery utility. Um, and it notices um, when the file was modified, when it was created, whether or not it's marked for being uh, backed up. It takes all of that information and it shoves it uh, up to the partner portal um, where the backup analyzer can then analyze that file. Um, so again, you can see that the audit ran yesterday, so the data is pretty new. Up top you'll see the computer that this is for. Um, at the very top you're going to see a few different buckets or categories of files. Um, on the left hand side you're going to see a summary of the files marked for backup so that you can see for this computer we have 1779 files, uh, 8.1 uh, gigabytes of data. Um, the next category you'll see uh, is uh, if there's any incomplete backups. So if for some reason there's a file that's having issues backing up, um, you'll be able to see those here. Uh, and then this third category, which is items suggested for backup. Now I'm not going to get into this feature uh, too in depth right now, but in a subsequent video we're going to cover what a suggested file is and why it's really, really important and a really powerful feature of this solution. Now if you click on any one of these buckets, um, for instance I'm going to click on files marked for backup, and then scroll down, now we're looking at a, a subset of all of the data on this computer and we're only seeing the files marked for backup. So you can see over here uh, you have a very standard kind of uh, tree map view uh, or file tree um, and you can see again 8.1 gigabytes, 1779 files. On the right hand side this is a, a file tree map view so you can start clicking in and it's really just a graphical representation of the data that's stored on the computer. So if I keep clicking here uh, it will keep drilling into this data. Again the tree map over here will continue to change along with it. Um, you will also see a detail uh, down here of the actual data in these folders. So if, for example, I click into Wes here, you can see the bulk of the data on this computer is, is in here. The 8, eight gigs of the 8.1 gigabytes is in this folder. Uh, it's a very typical view. You can see over here, uh, again, graphically, that the bulk of the data is in the pictures folder. Um, and then the other uh, biggest part of the data is in the documents folder, which is very typical. Um, and down below, you see again a huge list of here's all of the actual specific files within these folders. Uh, from here, um, you can actually create uh, backup rules. So you could say, you know what, I know this is marked for backup right now, but I don't want to back it up. Simply by clicking this minus button, you can create a rule that says, you know what, I don't want to back this file up. Do this and again without having to remote into uh, this customer's computer, without having to schedule time uh, to get on there and interrupting their day, you can create these rules right from the backup analyzer. I'm not going to create this rule. Um, the other thing you can do from here is you can create monitored items. Uh, monitored item uh, feature is really, really cool. Uh, it's a way to keep a heartbeat on a file uh, or folder. And you can basically, with the monitored item feature, say, you know what? I want to uh, make sure that I'm getting new revisions of this file on a regular basis. So you can say, I expect to see uh, a new file come up to the cloud and backed up every 
X number of days, it defaults to seven, but you could say, you know what, I expect a new Quicken file to come through every three days. If I create this monitored item, if for some reason I don't get a new uh, Quicken file uh, in three days, um, I'll get an alert and I can call that customer and say, what's going on? Why aren't they getting new versions of your Quicken? So again, you can do all of this from your portal. Um, the backup analyzer is the key tool. Um, again, we'll go into some of the advanced features of the backup analyzer, but at the end of the day, it's a tool that allows you to see into your client's computer uh, without having to schedule uh, remote sessions and to interrupt their day.